Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be trying out the Mega Hold Styling Glue by Cantu. It's supposed to help frizz. It's supposed to help stop frizz. And because I live in Tennessee and the heat and humidity is outrageous, definitely need a styling product that can hold up to the natural elements. Hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. Alright, so here's my first attempt at trying this product. I'm going to use a little bit of water to wet my hair. And I'm using the Amla and Olive Heavy Cream as a leave-in because I don't have any more of my Moringa Tree Conditioning Ghee. And as my base for the product, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ethiopia Hydrate and Twist Butter. And then I'm going to use the gel. This is the Mega Hole Styling Stay Glue Gel by Cantu. And as you can see, this consistency of the gel is very different from anything I've ever seen before. It's like sticky and I don't even know like how to explain it. But yeah, it's just very different. It doesn't feel weird once it's in your hair, but putting it on, it definitely feels different than anything I've ever used before. But I just go ahead, comb that through, you guys know the deal, and then I just twist it on up. And we're going to see how this worked the first time around, on camera anyway. I did try this before, off camera, and I'll talk about that experience with it in a little bit. about two days later and I'm now about to retwist my hair I did wet my hair a little bit a few hours ago because I feel like if I leave twisting for a few days without retwisting it right away sometimes when I untwist them it's a little like frayed and fluffy so that's what I did and I'm just gonna put in a little twist mess now that I have some again um, just for some shine so I like to spray it in my palm and then massage it into my hands and then just put it on my hair i'm really loving my makeup you guys i think i want to do a tutorial on this look i used um this new palette i got from urban decay i showed it in my vlog the um pr package they sent me but the color is just so dope and vibrant so yeah i'm hoping that this works because when I first tried this product, I used the castor oil. That's when I was in Detroit. And it lasted for a long time. It lasted for like eight days. <laughs> I didn't feel like um, doing my hair, but it was so hard and crunchy. And I used like the castor, amla, and olive uh, pomade from Comet Biologics, like underneath it just for some hydration. because. I mean, it is a gel, so you're gonna definitely need some moisturizing products underneath it. But when I tried it with the Cocoa Tree Detangling Ghee, it only lasted for like four days. My hair was a hot mess. Like, it was still wearable, because I still wore it, and I still got like lots of compliments. I feel like no matter what state my hair is in, I get compliments on it though. But just for me personally, like when I was looking at it, I was just like, oh my God, this looks a hot mess. So, I'm just gonna see if this works because I layered a butter underneath it, the Ethiopica Hydrate and Twist Butter underneath it. So I feel like that's not as super duper moisturizing and creamy as the Amla and Olive. But like I said, it worked wonders with the castor oil, but my hair was like dumb dry. It was so dry and crunchy and hard, and I can't have that. <laughs> so it feels good like my hair actually feels soft it's not dry or anything which is nice that's important but how is the definition really good but I just once you start separating things shine so I don't know not very happy so far it's just a lot fluffier than I prefer you know I like more defined like this definition but with it being separated so 
yeah i just i can tell like as soon as i go outside <laughs> i feel like it's just gonna puff right up all right so this is the final look um i actually really do like it i think it looks really good i'm just nervous that once i go outside it's gonna look really puffy and undefined but we shall see it's like i said it's really soft it's not sticky it's not hard it's the perfect feeling <laughs> but that's not what this video is about so i'm gonna go outside and take a little walk and I might run some errands as well, I'm not sure. But I will come back. It's 80 degrees. And the humidity is 69%. So, yeah. We'll see what happens when I get back. Hey guys, it is later, much later now. It's actually about 12.30. So I just wanted to come in and let you guys have a look. Um, I ended up going outside shortly after I started, I stopped the first video and it was like 84 degrees I think, or was it 83, I don't know. It was hot in the mug, okay, and I went outside, I took the pictures and I was like, yeah, I cannot walk in this, it's just ridiculous. It felt so humid and just too hot for me, so I went back in the house and I waited until it got down to 73 degrees. It was a quarter to 10 when I went out for a walk. And I walked for around an hour and a half. And this is the result a few hours later. All right, I wanted to get a close up mirror because I really don't know what I look like right now. I know I was a sweaty mess when I came inside. Um, it doesn't look too bad. It's definitely puffed up a bit. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm guessing that I just cannot use a moisturizer with this if I want it to be as effective um, as it was the first go around when I did not have a cream based moisturizer underneath it. So I'm gonna try this again with just using the gel. I'm just gonna call it and say that this doesn't work well when you use a cream base or just a moisturizer underneath it. I'm not for having crunchy hair so <laughs> that's not going to work for me but um i'm gonna try using all three products by themselves as directed and then we'll see what result i get but like i said my hair doesn't look too bad i mean i'll let you guys be the judge like what you prefer um but it feels good like it actually feels really good i can get away with wearing this a couple more days but i know by the time i have to go to work on monday um i would have to retwist like i would definitely have to retwist on sunday night if i wanted to look my best my first day of work on monday but i will say my makeup though this eye look is still intact i'm still greasy and oily, obviously, but the eye look is still intact. I just cannot believe it. My lashes didn't fall off either. That's pretty amazing. I really, eyeshadow looks from Urban Decay is spoiled. All right, so this is what second day hair looked like. It just looked a hot mess. I was like, I have to redo it. There's no way I can salvage this for another day. So I went ahead and washed my hair with the cream rinse that they sent. And for my leave-in, I added the Everyday Leave-In by Original Moxie. It's very light in consistency as opposed to the heavy cream that I used the first go around. And then I just went ahead and used the gel without a moisturizer. And I thought that I would get great results with that. And uh, yeah, you'll see what happened. <sighs> All right, so this is what my hair looks like after I just picked it a little bit 
and fluffed it out. Um, I literally don't know <laughs> if it's just gonna stay this way. Once I get back, um, I'm gonna be out for a while. I was out for like two seconds and oh my God, this instant sweat. It's 80, oh, it's 89 degrees. It's 89 degrees and the humidity is 53%. So that is an improvement, but still. The high is 90 today. That is just great. And it's 544. So I will come back later once I get back. I was gonna try to put on some makeup, but it was just like melt off my face. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna do that. But yeah, um I will come back and let you guys know how my hair looks. But um it already looks puffy right now, so what can I say? Alright. We'll be back. All right, so this is day two hair. It just looks a hot mess. So yeah, the product doesn't work very well with any kind of moisturizing property underneath it. If you're gonna use this Mega Holt Styling Glue, I would just use it by itself. And I don't think I will use it like that again. But if you've had success with this gel, please let me know what you think. And if you have a favorite gel to use in the summertime, I would love to know what it is because I'm going to need your help living in Tennessee. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.